name is Rose Jaffe. Um, I am a full-time artist here in Washington, D.C., mostly doing murals, um, illustration commission, and my own hustle, which is mostly painting and sometimes sculpture. So I started doing art when I was six years old. Art has always been my 100% focus and passion with the ultimate goal of full-time supporting myself on my work. The first time I did a mural wall, I was totally hooked. I think that painting and seeing your work at that scale is so fun. I mean, being up on lifts and up on ladders and, and just kind of um, working at that scale, I was really, really attracted to. So once I started doing, once I started one mural, I think um, I just wanted to continue to kind of find those jobs. And then the more murals I did, the easier it was for me to apply to grants. And then the bigger my portfolio was, the more walls I could get. My work looks a lot different depending on what I'm doing. I can do like photorealistic portraits to fun line drawings to things like this. So some, sometimes people can really recognize my style, other times I feel like they can't. Um, this is an opportunity because it's not a paid gig, it's just sort of me playing around and I don't have much time. Um, I'm doing sort of abstract female shapes and lines. Um, and I want it to be playful and light and colorful and fun and simple. Having a piece of art on a wall is ten times better than having just a blank wall. So I think that just putting art out in, out in space, I'm for. And so I think that for me, doing public art, um, I love if my work has a message. I do a lot of social justice, social activism work. Um, and I think that it's really beautiful if a, if a mural can reflect the community that it's in and, and like uplift the voices that are there in that community. For the past few years I've been um, really into the theme of kind of the female and female forms. I, I'm bored by landscapes in general, so I think that my work is wholly things with shape and form. I'm sort of fascinated by people, um, by faces, and like the stories that their faces and bodies can tell. I would say as a woman in the street art scene, has, has, I feel like when I first started, I, I started doing, I was kind of labored as like a street artist, and, and it was more sort of graffiti oriented, um, and that's such a male dominated scene. So I felt, um, I don't know if it was tokenized, but I sort of felt, like I was, I, there wasn't very many women street artists in DC. But I feel like when I began doing more murals, which I, I don't define as graffiti, I, I feel like they're more public art pieces. I feel like I got a lot of support from the community. I felt like there's other mural artists that are female that are badass that I got a lot of support from. I got a lot of support from male artists. Um, and I generally have felt support in DC as an artist. I mean, it's an absolute hustle. I think a lot of people see where I'm at and what I'm doing and are like, oh my God, I don't feel like I could ever do that. And I, I just, I guess I just wanna say that it's, it's many, many, many small steps <laughs> to get to a certain place. And I feel like there's, there's a lot that I still wanna do. Um, but just, I don't know, keep practicing, keep practicing, keep working. Tonight we'll see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. I'm Maria Miller. I'm a muralist in DC, Northern Virginia. I'm originally a canvas painter, but I had my first mural project in Richmond, Virginia around 2013. And from there I kind of had like this growing interest in public art and street art, so kind of just hit the ground running from there. First it started with me just wanting to get better at painting, um, particularly with spray paint. And now it's become something, not so much about myself, but I love the feeling of painting in a community um, and having the community tell me how much they love it. I think that's so gratifying. I mostly paint portraits, whether it's on canvas or on a wall. I was always gravitated towards rendering features, whether it's male or female. Like the personalities that they capture, it's really important to me. I'm painting a portrait of Chuck Brown um, for the Legends of Go-Go mural. This is a publicly funded mural and it will be an interactive piece. We will install the interactive component when it's all finished. So you can like pull up your iPhone and then scan it. It's just something for the community since GoGo -Go is such an important part of the community and people really are receiving it well. Always a permission aspect because otherwise it would be like illegal. <laughs> but 
And some business owners, they are okay with it, but it sometimes take some prodding or like convincing. And, but once they see the mural go up, they're like, wow, it's totally worth it. Plus it keeps graffiti off, illegal graffiti off of their walls. I think for the most part, a lot of people um, are very open and receptive to seeing more female artists around, especially other females, you know, walking around. So I think catcalling is the most, <laughs> the most uncomfortable thing. But other than that, I mean, I just take it as I go. I think I'm, I feel welcome. I'm seeing more and more female artists and everyone wanting to see more of them and interviews like this make me happy that there's more light being shed in one way or another.